What is going on guys, Tiswalfa here, and welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. Now last time we left off, we went and explored the mines a little bit more, made it down to like level 70 or 75 or something like that, found skeletons down there for the very first time, but still haven't found any more of that uh, ectoplasm, as you can see it's Sunday right now, so it's the last day to do this curious substance mission right here, so we need to hurry up and do it like right now. But, I believe we have some uh, some stuff, yeah, so today is Caroline's birthday, so don't want to forget about that. But, tomorrow, later on this episode, we have a, a festival of ice. I guess we're going to be reading about that here in the mail just uh, in just a second, so... I don't know. I guess we'll get another mission here uh, tomorrow, but today's the last day. I don't, I don't, I don't want to miss out on this, because it seems... It seems doable. It, I, I don't want to say it seems easy, because I'm like, we just need to have one thing. Ectoplasm still haven't found one throughout the entire week here, so I really want to just, like, stomp my feet and uh, dig my heels into the ground and be like, okay, I'm going to go try and get this ectoplasm, you guys, because today's the last day, and if I don't get it now, I'm not going to get it. I'm going to heck and fail this mission, unfortunately, so that's going to suck. Uh, and it's going to be something for the wizard, too, so hey, that's going to be a pretty interesting thing. I think you guys said uh, it's going to be good to get some like relationship points with the wizard. I don't know if it actually does this, but uh, you guys told me some other things about him too. But either way, <laughs> we also crafted a keg last episode and uh, we're, we're crafting some craft beer there or a uh, pale ale right now uh, and also some wine. And I believe the pale ale is done. So we should be able to give that to, uh, what is her, Pam right there. Yeah, craft uh, Pam a pale ale. Don't want to give it to her like in front of Penny or anything like that because of course Penny won't like that, right? <laughs> I don't know if she's smart enough to actually notice uh, me giving that to Pam or whatever, but let's check up on the weather tomorrow. Oh, it's going to be clear and sunny tomorrow. Perfect weather for the Festival of Ice. Yeah, see, here it is right here. The event will take place in the forest starting between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. Don't be late. I believe that's the forest right below our house, like down here, right? I think we read something about that, like it's down in this general area, something like that. So uh, we're going to be really close to it. Check up on the fortune teller today and good humor today. I don't think that's good because it feels in bad humor or whatever or like they're frustrated or whatever, whatever the negative version of that is, that might have been better for us because, hey, we're going to have more mobs in the in the mines, more ghosts to, to hopefully kill and get more ectoplasm from, right? So I don't think that's good for us. And then Queen of Sauce, if I want to read about uh, what this is, Plum Pudding, Little Jack Horner is chomping at the bit for this ooey gooey delight. And who can blame him? The plums are floral and sweet just the right amount of tartness to fully activate every last one of your eager taste buds. You'll just have to try it to see for yourself. All right, so we don't even have plums right now, but uh, yeah, you guys actually commented uh, last episode, I believe, right? <laughs> that can drum thing right there. But you guys did comment last episode, I believe, uh, telling me because last episode, you guys remember, um, we got something in the mail, I think from Clint, and he was like, yeah, you know, uh, starting next year, I'm going to have one new item like every season or something like that. You guys told me what each of those items was. I didn't write it down or anything like that, unfortunately, so that kind of sucks. What was that thing real quick? Yeah, oh yeah, Ancient Sword. Yeah, we got that in the mines. I thought it was another weapon that we got, but yeah, we're going to have to go to the, uh, and then we got the rusty, yeah, the rusty spoon there. We got another secret note. Uh, I saved that for this episode because I didn't want it to be like, oh, I opened it at the end of last episode, and then I open it this episode, and it's like completely different or something like that, right? So let's open it right now. And by the way, yeah, last episode, remember, we got some secret notes, a lot of secret notes. So definitely going to have to go back. Uh, I did read you guys' comments last episode. Tell me how to do that one secret note where it like tells you to go like left and then up and then right and all that kind of stuff. You guys told me how to do that. I'll get to that here in just a bit. I don't know if I'll have time to do it this episode. Maybe or, uh, today. Might have to do it tomorrow on Monday before the Festival of Ice, right? Anyways, we got this note right here. I borrowed a necklace from mom, but lost it somewhere near the bathhouse. She's going to freak out if she knows it's missing. Well, I don't know who that's from, but I suppose we can go to the bathhouse. So that's that's two things we need to find now, right? Where do I find letter secret? Here we go. So one of them, something's near the end. And yeah, once again, by the bathhouse. Uh, that's where, yeah, that's where I found the treasure chest. That was like the first secret note that we got. Yeah, so here, here it is right here. You guys are saying, hey, start at whoever's house that was. And then, you know, start at their entrance right there where that green square is. And then go left until you can't go left anymore. And then go up until you can't go up anymore. And then go right until you can, and then just continue doing that until you get to the secret treasure or whatever uh, that it wants right there. So that's what we're going to be doing here in just about. I don't know if I'll do it right now or if I, like I said, I'll, I'll wait until uh, Monday to do that because I want to have as much time as possible to try and find the heck of ectoplasm. So I might have to actually do that off camera or something like that here in just a bit. But yeah, here's the other one right here. I hit something behind the community center. You guys are saying it's. Ah, I didn't write it down, but you guys said I was like close to it. Like I hovered over it like with the mouse cursor and then the mouse cursor changed. So I, I, I definitely want to go back there. Definitely you'll have to do that tomorrow on Monday before the Festival of Ice. 
uh, or after or something like that. I don't know. But then again, during these like festivals or whatever, like it always like goes to like 10 p.m. or whatever afterwards. So you don't really have any time. We might have to do that next episode or something like that. You guys got late. Either way, uh, we have gold bar in our inventory, so we can indeed make another sprinkler. That's another thing we made last episode. You guys, I think what was it refined quartz iron and oh, do I not have iron? Oh, I might not have iron. Either that or I'm blind as a bitch. Oh, here we go. Yeah, 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 I remember, yeah. We didn't have any iron, but I had to smelt it last episode, so there you go. Uh, but yeah, we made, what, three more sprinklers? We have four in total right now, right? Oh, wait, here's here's Clint right now. Or, uh, Pierre. Did I say it was Clint last time? It was Pierre. I, I meant, uh, Pierre. Yeah, wait. <laughs> Anyways, hello there, Waffle. I guess I could read through this real quick. And yeah, you can see right there, the, uh, the craft beer is done. So, definitely want to go give that to Pam. Uh, hello there, Waffle. So, your first year in Stardew Valley is almost over, huh? If you keep buying seeds from me, you'll be twice as productive next year. You're not wrong, Pierre. And I have some exciting news. I'll be selling new seed varieties in my shop next year. Should have one new variety per season. Yep, just like you guys commented. Uh, well, that's all I wanted to say. Have a good one. Oh, he's going to say something else. You know, I wouldn't even bother trying my competitor seeds. Pierre seeds are the highest quality seeds you'll find anywhere, and that's a promise. Yeah, we read that last episode, at the end of last episode, so we had to do it again this episode. But, uh, oh yeah, real quick before I forget, let's uh, start smelting that, because it does take a little while. And then we get something in the mail here, probably from Mayor Lewis talking about the... Oh wait, no! Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> I remember this, yeah. Remember uh, yesterday, last episode, Emily, we had some weird, like, heart event with her where we were like... In her dream or something like that. I don't know. I even even right now, I don't think anyone like cleared it up in the comments. <laughs> what happened there? But we're like in her dream, and she was like, "Oh man, this is like a sign or something like that." And then I was like, "Oh man, are we going to end up marrying Emily in the future? I don't know. Is this what this means? I don't know." <laughs> but I guess yeah, that's what happens when you're at like what two hearts or whatever for her, right? Anyways, Waffle, flip this letter over for instructions on how to make a super healthy meal. You'll feel energized. See you soon, Emily. New crafting recipe. Or new cooking recipe salad. And uh, at the end of the last episode when I read this, I was like, oh man, it's, is Emily trying to tell me something? Is she telling me I need to start eating salads all of a sudden? <laughs> Anyways, yeah, here it is right here from Mayor Lewis. Dear Waffle, tomorrow we're all gathering in front of Marty's house. Yeah, so it, it is indeed south of our base, really close by, uh, for the Festival of Ice. It is a celebration of winter, and there will be snowmen, ice sculptures, and an ice fishing competition. Arrive between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. Yeah, okay, so it is really early. We might be able to slip in some stuff before 9 a.m., but, or, you know, before 2 p.m., you know, whenever it ends. And I wonder what happens if we, like, straight up miss an event. I don't think we've ever missed a festival or anything like that. I always, like, just went out of my way to attend every festival, but I wonder what happened if I was just like, eh, I'm not feeling like going to the Festival of Ice, <laughs> and I just skipped on it. Uh, but I don't want to do that. I, I definitely want to see it, especially because it is my first year, right? Maybe in the second year we could skip some festivals if I'm like, eh, it's, it's kind of a waste of time. <laughs> but either way, uh, if you'd like to participate, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. for Mayor Lewis. Okay, yeah, definitely don't want to forget about that, you guys. And then, yeah, remember uh, last episode, we got another glow ring. We already have one, so I suppose we can sell that to the Adventurers Guild once I head up there in that uh, general area. And then, yeah, something you guys did comment, uh, a, a cool strategy you could do is with a Master Slingshot real quick. Uh, I, I can go inside. Uh, using the master sling or just a regular slingshot uh, instead of like throwing away stone because I did that last episode You guys said to just put the stone in the slingshot, which I don't know. Is there a limit? Pff, I guess not 505 stone just in the master slingshot. So we have another uh, inventory slot right there. Cool. Then uh resource I get is that is That's the same thing as like slot no, it's monster loot I don't know. I'll put it up in there though the the bones that we got from the skull I'll put that in there though at least for right now then crocus and, and blackberries and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, okay, let's go over here. Yeah, we haven't fished all uh, winter so far. Definitely want to do that, you guys. Don't want to forget about that. So there you go. Put all that up. Mix seeds. Put that up over here. And that should be good to go. Yeah, everything else, we should be good to go. And then the iron is still smelting. Uh, do I have the watering? I do not have the watering can, but yeah, let's water all of our crops real quick. I think, like, I think someone commented, yeah, just water all your crops, uh, feed the chickens, uh, all that kind of stuff, and then head straight to the mines at the beginning of next episode, which is right now, by the way. Oh yeah, maple syrup, we have more maple syrup too, cool. Now, now I don't think there's anything, oh yeah, by the way, yeah, the sprinklers are helping out a little bit, so yeah, they're watering that, and they're watering this right here, so I don't have to water those, which is good, but, it's, uh, oh, whoops, let's water these right here, there you go, okay, there we go, they're all done right there, awesome. Uh, we can make another sprinkler here in just a bit, once all that iron is done smelting, but uh, real quick, let's just do what that person commented, go check up on the chickens, go pet them, oh yeah, you guys did say, um, I think I was like, oh man, I I wish there was like a way to automate like feeding the chickens or whatever. You guys said that like the deluxe chicken, is that the, 
Was there an A? There is an egg right there. I think the deluxe, isn't that one step or two steps above what we have right now? So I have to upgrade the coop to like an upgrade coop and then upgrade it again to the deluxe coop and then it'd be able to have the auto feeder, right? And why did we have a uh, three uh, mayonnaise? Oh wait, I already got, I was about to say like, did I forget to put a mayonnaise or uh, an, egg, an egg there last episode? I guess not. So anyways, let's put all these here and yeah, we're going to get a bunch of gold star mayonnaise uh, tomorrow's or not. It doesn't even take a whole day to do that. We can, we can get that here in just a couple minutes. So uh, that's going to be good. Yeah, it just basically guaranteed thousand dollars every single day from the mayonnaise. Can't can't complain about that one bit, you guys. Uh, but I guess we'll check up on the uh, on the mushroom cave over here real quick. Chanterelle and a bunch of uh, brown mushroom or common mushrooms right here. So let's switch over there. Go grab all these and then I'll just head straight to the mines and I'll do that one strategy probably off camera. Oh, yeah, let's pet our dog, too. I want to forget about him. He's in the snow. He's getting snowed on. I don't want him to be snowed on. <laughs> but uh, what was I saying? Just Oh, yeah. Uh, Oh, yeah, I, I forgot it, remembered it, and then forgot it again. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do want to go over here. I want to do that strategy where you, you know, you go to a level, and then if you find any ghosts or, or, you know, look for ghosts, if you don't find any, just leave and then come back. You know, doing that strategy over and over and over again. I think I'm going to be doing that, and then uh, hopefully we're going to have better luck. And by the way, there's a little... Oh, wait, is that what you had good luck at? I think that is what you had good luck at, like fishing. But I don't know if I could actually, maybe like right here, I could reach that down there. I don't think I have any bait or anything like that, but, uh, can I hit that? Oh, wow, that's, like, right in the middle of that. Am I going to catch something right here? Oh, oh, we got a hit. What's it going to be? I, I literally just said, yeah, we haven't fished. Oh, man, I did my... <sighs> Wait, oh, man, messed it up again. What's it going to be? What is that? A perch. Is that a community center thing? I don't know if it is. Let's see. It is not. Okay, so I guess I could just sell that or maybe use it for a cooking recipe or something like that. Oh, yeah, by the way, uh, oh, yeah, I don't think the Adventures Guild uh, is open right now, right? Yeah, open 2 p.m. Yeah, it's a little bit too early for them, so maybe on my way back, I'll sell the uh, the extra glowing whatever right there. But I believe 40 to 69 is the levels to find uh, to find to find uh, ghosts. So I forget what level we had good luck on. I think what was it 50? It might have been 50 that we had good luck on. But uh, I guess I'll show just a couple minutes of this. I've been trying to find heckin ghosts here, but I'm not I'm I'm, prom I'm just going to cut out a bunch of heckin footage here. It's probably going to be like, honestly, like. 8 p.m., 10 p.m. or something like that, <laughs> whenever I come back here in just a second, guys. But uh, let me just keep checking here if there's anything of note. And right now, I'm not seeing anything, unfortunately. Is this already open over here? Sometimes it's already open. Oh, hey, look at that amethyst over there. Cool. So we can give that to both Emily and Am or, uh, Abigail. Not amethyst. That's literally the name of the rock. <laughs> no, the name of the rock is Dwayne Johnson, right? But uh, there you go. Break that. Oh, yeah. So we found the way down right there. Cool. Uh, oh, yeah. Get that. There you go. Cool. Let's see if we find any ghosts here real quick. If not, then I'm just going to leave. Oh, yeah, we've had uh, good luck on this level finding ghosts. Yeah, see, there's a ghost right there. Awesome. Okay, so let's see. Are we going to get a ghost? And this is actually a really good level to try out the uh, the slingshot. So you know what? You know, let's try that a little bit more. There you go. Cool. We're doing like basically no damage to him though. Uh. Oh. Oh, we got two solar essence right there though. That's really good though. Not bad. Not complaining. And I believe the level below this, we've had luck finding ghosts as well, right? So not going to reset it just yet. Yeah, I do. Oh, yeah, yep, right there. Boom, ghost. Awesome. Okay, so cool. Start attacking him for 23 damage, 24. Another 25. Oh, ah, man, another solar essence right there. Golly. Okay, well, you, you guys already get the drill. Let me, let me just continue exploring the mines here. Uh, leaving, coming back, and, and, and resetting the map, basically, to hopefully find a ghost, because literally it is the last day to find the hacking ghost. All right, you guys are back. Uh, it's 1020 right now. I don't know. I'm, I'm not having any luck. I'm getting a lot of solar essence, though, which is good. But I'm just not having any luck finding any any, any ghosts. And of course, if, if I do find any ghosts, they just give me solar essence. And one time I was lucky and I got a solar essence and a, uh, a gold ingot from them. Or a gold. I think it was a gold ore, not an actual ingot. But uh, yeah, that was probably the luckiest I got. I haven't found any ghosts that gave us any ectoplasm yet, or else I would have absolutely noticed it. Ah, nothing here. Man. Yeah, see, it's 11 p.m. right now. It's getting really late, and I believe the Adventures Guild is closed now, so that kind of sucks. Yeah, level 60, I don't know. I've been, I've been going, like, up and down from level, like, 40 all the way up to 65 or whatever. Uh, just to try and hopefully find some, uh, some, some ghosts. You know, you get some variety going on the, on the levels that I'm on. To try and, you know, I don't know if that helps out, even though it does reset every time I just trip, just leave, but... Yeah, it's 11.30 right now. I might just leave at, like, 12 or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. Let's go back down to 50. We've had a little bit of luck finding them here because we go down and then we go down to 51 and then 
Yeah, there's no ghosts here. And of course, yeah, I have been making a little bit of progress killing those little mites and stuff like that. Oh, oh, oh there is a ghost right there. Okay, cool. Cool. Might have spoke a little bit too soon right there, but yeah, see, this is another thing that just sucks about the ghost, though. Is that it, you, you hit him and he bounces back like that and you have to wait. And it, it, it spends a lot of- yeah, see, boom, another- <sighs> Solar Essence right there, golly. I might be able to get one more attempt here. Leave, come back, go back to level 51 here. And then maybe- I don't know, maybe I'll have some luck, I don't know. 1210, we have to leave before one. That's the latest we can leave. There you go, and, and still make it home, you know, so. There you go. Am I, oh, wait, hey, a ghost right at the bat. Okay, good. Hopefully, and, he, and, he, and he's... I don't have to wait, because sometimes you knock him back, and then they go outside of the map, you have to wait a while for them to come back, and you hit him again. Ah, I got a solar essence again. Man, are we gonna fail? Okay, let's leave the mine. Let's leave, let's leave. 1240 right now, yeah. We're, I'm like, we do have coffee. We do have the ability to you know, move. We could probably have done that one more time. Left it like, what, 110, 120, or whatever, but... Yeah, I'm just going to play it safe. I guess we lost that mission there. Lost the heckin' special request. It's like the second one that we've lost, unfortunately, so that sucks. And it's such a doable one, too. It's not like, oh, get a hundred bones or whatever from the skeletons, which, I don't know, I'm like, what do we have right now? Four of them or whatever? So, I don't know, we, we probably, if I, if I did do that mission and just kind of focused on going down to level 70 or whatever to try and find bones, we probably eventually would have been able to, uh, and yeah, look at that, our iron's done. Probably would have eventually been able to maybe get a little bit closer to a hundred right there, but I don't know. And then what do we have right now that could just drop? I don't know. I, I guess if anything, I could put uh, do this, go to forging, boom, there you go. Then we get the iron. There you go. So it's one thirty right now. Let's see if we can sell the mayonnaise. <laughs> there you go. Sell the mayonnaise. I don't know if I want to sell anything else real quick though. I think we're probably good. Yeah. See, look at that. Eleven soul essences I have right there. That doesn't necessarily mean that I killed eleven ghosts. It just means that uh, you know I probably killed like. Five, six ghosts, and a, a few of them have dropped double right there. So, anyways, we can go to bed at 1.40 a.m. Sucks, sucks. But I'm like, you can't win all the time, right? Which really sucks, but what are you going to do? Anyways, yeah, another guaranteed $1,000 overnight from selling the mayonnaise. Yeah, just like I said, so can't complain about that. Day 8, we do have a special event today. Remember, the uh, Festival of Ice. So, this is going to be pretty fun. Let's see what this is all about. Uh, oh, yeah, let's check it out. Oh, it was Caroline's birthday yesterday. I forgot, about, I was so preoccupied with the end of the heckin' ectoplasm, I forgot. And it would have been very helpful to get her something on her birthday. And do we even know what she likes? Ah, oh, man. It happens all the time. Like, to get, yeah, she likes to, I don't know if I have any extra tulips. Could have given her a blackberry. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah, uh, someone did say. I don't know if it's true, though. I think it might be, just because of how it, it makes sense if it was true. But, yeah. See, Sebastian likes frozen tear and sashimi. Penny likes emeralds and poppies. Vincent likes grape. Cramp okay, so let, let's check him on Vincent. Let's see if this has updated to say that he likes grapes. Because, uh, yeah, love, yeah, hey, look at that. And then paint, cake, yeah, okay, cool. So now that we discovered those secret notes that said, okay, this person loves this, this person loves that, it updated the, like, little, like, diary or whatever this is over here, like, address book, I guess you can describe it as, a uh, gift log, I guess that's what it is right here, uh, to show, okay, yeah, they love pink cake, grapes, all that kind of stuff, cranberry candy, oh, like, I wouldn't know about this one or this one, because I haven't gifted him to, uh, gifted those to him, but, yeah, look at that, it actually tells us here, so that's really good, thank you very much for commenting that in the comments, wouldn't have been able to figure that out on my own, maybe, like, 20 episodes from now, I'd be like, oh, man, why does it say that Vincent likes pink cake, I didn't give him pink cake, and then I'd probably get a comment, be like, oh, it's, it's actually because you discovered it uh, in the secret notes or whatever. Anyways, speaking of secret notes, I guess we can get a few of those things done here in just a bit. Uh, you know, the one where you walk left, walk right, all that kind of stuff. I guess we can do that. And then, and then the one by the community center. Uh, and then the one by the... I don't know if we'd have enough time to go up to the bathhouse to try and find that one, though. But uh, let, let's check up on the weather report. It's going to be beautiful and sunny all day tomorrow. Cool. Don't pick up the TV. <laughs> pick it up the TV in anger because it's not snowing tomorrow. <laughs> See what uh, our luck is going to be. Good humor today. Yeah, it's, it seems like it's always going to be good humor on these festival days. Good weather and good humor on festival days, right? And then living off the land. We haven't gotten one of these in a while. Since like the first of the uh, the first of the season, right? Find any tree seeds while chopping wood? You can plant those in the ground and a new tree will grow. Get creative. Yeah, I did get a comment from someone saying, yeah, I should probably think about buying seeds for like apple tree, cherry tree, all that kind of stuff to start growing in time for spring. I looked into that. Apparently, they don't grow during the winter time, so I don't know if I'd be able to get a head start of them, uh, you know, growing them right now during the week, because they take, like, what, 28 days or whatever? So uh, it might be worth it just to wait until spring and then plant whatever summer tree, summer fruit tree, uh, during the springtime. So it grows all throughout spring, and then during the summer, uh, we could actually get all the fruit. Anyways, put up a bunch of stuff like that right there. Iron ore. We have a lot of iron ore I got right there in 
Copper ore, same thing right there. Wow, a lot of stuff just stacked up right there. But uh, iron ingot, where is that at? Did I stack that up with something again? Am I super blind? Oh yeah, I never got it out of the, uh, the, the furnace, did I? I don't think I did. Uh, but let's get the refined quartz, and then we can make another... There you go. Uh, we can make another... What do you call it? Uh, sprinkler. Quality sprinkler, I think it's called, right? Oh, yeah, we did. Wait, what? Oh, hey, look at that. All the stuff is done. Okay, good. Perfect. Uh, yeah, I don't know what happened to the other one right there. Oh, yeah, yeah, there it is right there. I must be super blind. It didn't stack up with anything. I never left my egg in inventory. <laughs> there you go. Let's make another sprinkler. And then we can, uh, we can actually move the sprinklers we made, made last episode. Now that these are all done, right? So, oh, grab all these bad boys. And then we might want to use... Remember, that's a seed machine or whatever right there? Seed maker? Uh, we could actually convert... Not every one of these forging items, but one of them can be... Uh, you can turn them into seeds and whatnot, which is cool. Either that or we could just, you know, turn one of each one of these into 10 more uh, winter forging items or winter forging seeds, right? So either way, let's pick up these and now start moving them around into more uh, better places. So basically just move this up like this. So where is that? Oh, there it is right there. Put this right here. So it's going to be watering like this. This one's going to water like this. And this means that there. Then we're going to have to place another one right there. And then we could probably make another one, right? I think I might have enough gold. Yeah, that should be good. Okay, cool. What's that sound that I'm hearing? And by the way, yeah, some of the pickled uh, pickled pumpkins over here are done. You guys did say the... Oh, wow, yeah, that's going to get us a lot of money. You guys did say that the uh, the wine is going to take a while to do, so uh, that's going to suck. But let's get the pickled pumpkin and go put that up over there. Uh, it's 7.20 right now. We do still have a little bit of time. Oh, that must, yeah, that must be the sound of the keg doing that weird, like, drinking sound or whatever that is <laughs> that I keep hearing right there. So, let's get all the... that. Let's pet our chickens while we're walking past them. There you go. Get their eggs. There you go. Whoops. There you go. And I think we're good. There you go. Cool. Uh, oh, inventory full. Okay, hold on. Eggs. Where are we? Oh, man, yeah, I've got all the... Should I craft all those into seeds or uh, into whatever's right now? I kind of want to keep the gold star, silver star ones at least for right now. And then turn the other ones into more... There you go. There you go. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Into more uh, seeds that we could plant. Uh, especially now that we have all those sprinklers going, right? So, either way, let's get all the, uh, all the hay, not the ham. <laughs> Maybe we'll get that a little bit later. Uh, oh, yeah, I don't know if I mentioned it yet. But I did get a comment from someone last episode saying I should definitely save up for the stable so I could have a horse running around instead of having, uh, you know, relying on coffee, espresso, all that kind of stuff that we did last episode. Uh, apparently, it's going to cost 100 hardwood, 10,000 gold, which we have. And then five iron, which I, we should, how, how much hardwood do we have? Uh, we have 40, oh, we're, we're making some progress there. We just need to go back to the secret woods or whatever it's called, spooky woods. Uh, go over there, cut down, uh, I forget how many stumps are over there, but you get like, what, two hardwood from each one. So, you know, make a little bit of progress every day right there, right? Uh, get more hardwood that way. Uh, I don't think we ever made the, the, the wood chipper, so we never converted any hardwood over to, uh, where am I going to do that? I guess over here. Uh, we never converted any of the hardwood over to... Regular wood, which is good. But let's put up all the silver star, gold star over here. Uh, and hopefully we still have enough stuff to make seeds, more winter seeds. Uh, yes, we do. Okay, cool. So how many can I make? Looks like I can make three of them right now. Wow, that's good. Even though I put up all the gold star, all that kind of stuff, that's good. Uh, and you guys did, yeah. Remember last season we did learn, or like two seasons ago or something. Oh yeah, tree fur. Oh yeah. That's something we should probably use on a wild tree to ensure rapid growth. Even a winter doesn't work on fur. Oh yeah, okay. I was about to say, yeah, we should use those on the fruit trees, but it doesn't work on fruit trees, so that sucks. Man. But anyways, yeah, don't want to use fertilizer on uh, foraging stuff here, so uh, let's get 30 more seeds right there. Wow, amazing. We could probably make even more, honestly. What are we missing? Uh, thankfully, we have a thing that tells us now. Winter root. Okay, if, if we have a silver star winter root, I guess we'll grab that real quick. Turn that into... Oh, yeah, we have a few of those. Wow, we have four of those. <laughs> okay, and uh, we have silver star right there and silver star crocus things right there. Um... Let's see if we can make any more of those. That'd be really good. Yeah, we can. Okay. I, okay, I'm just missing the crocus stuff. Okay, so we have 40 right now, which is still good. Put all that up right there. And I think that's good, yeah. I'm not seeing anything else we can put up. We still have a random fish. Uh, but let's start playing. Oh, yeah. Man, I forgot again. Let's go see if we can get some gold over here. That'd be really good. Uh, Let's see. Where is it? Uh, yeah, we only have two. Man. And we don't have a gold. Yeah, okay. So I was about to say, maybe we can make another sprinkler, but yeah, we can't do that, unfortunately, so uh, that kind of sucks. But let's start hoeing the ground here around all the sprinklers. Don't want to do it there because that's kind of a waste. Uh, let's do it here. And remember, we don't even need these torches anymore because we have a we have a glow light. Oh, the festival, a festival of ice has started. We have to go over to Marnie's ranch. OK, uh, whoops, that was an accident right there. But uh, let's just finish this up and I guess we'll head on over there, you guys. So let's see. Where am I going? Where are the seeds at? There they are. 
Uh, there you go. Let's plant all these down. Thankfully, we don't have to worry too much. Actually, yeah, because the sprinklers only work at, like, the beginning of the day or whatever, I'm going to have to manually water these, unfortunately, so that's going to suck. But, uh, tomorrow and, like, the next week or whatever, we're not going to have to worry about this at all, you guys. It's going to be amazing. Uh, do I have enough seeds to cover all this? Wow, exactly enough. Holy heck, how did that work out right there, you guys? How did I have exactly enough seeds for all those sprinklers right there? That was crazy. Was that, was that fate? Saying, oh man, I'm going to help you out and get exactly enough seeds for all the sprinklers you have right now. And you don't have enough gold to make another sprinkler. It was so perfect right there, you guys. That was crazy cool. Anyways, uh, we have until 2 p.m. So don't want to, don't want to, you know, take forever to water everything over here. I, I still want to check up on the mushroom cave, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but I'm like, we just have to head like straight south. And then we're at the festival right there, right? So you definitely want to do that. And you guys did remind me, yeah. You do indeed get friendship points and whatnot by talking to people during these festivals, so don't want to skip out on that. Don't want to forget about that. Don't want to be like, oh man, uh, I, I don't want to waste, I, I want to hurry up and get this episode done with real quick. I'm just going to not talk to anyone. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't want to do that. And uh, yeah, I definitely want to put up the stone back up into there. Whoops. Wait, how do you... Oh, you have to remove it and then put it back, I think, right? I don't know. <laughs> there you go, I did it anyways. Uh, maple syrup, put that up in the forging again. There you go. Anything else I might want to put up frozen geode? Perch, I don't know. I guess that's technically a foraging thing, a fish. <laughs> so let's put that up right there, and then clay and ancient sword, all that kind of stuff. Uh, at least sell the mayonnaise. And I guess we'll be good to go. Uh, there you go. And then uh, I, I guess, I guess real quick, can I? Uh, you know what? Yeah. I was about, oh, hey, worms. <laughs> I was about to say, can I head on over to Pam and give her the pale ale? But man, I might 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 want to save that for next episode. But I saw these worms right here. Is that another worm? No, that's not another one. That's a tree. Oh wait, it is. Look at all these heckin' worms I'm picking up right now, and there's another one down there. We have like five, six books we need to catch up on, you guys, this is crazy. Boom, another one right there, snowy am, okay, cool. Anyways, uh, let's head south, and then uh, I guess maybe later on in the day, if we have any time after the event has ended, we can go check them on the special request bulletin board, see if there's another request we can get for this week, because unfortunately we failed on the one that was for this, this past week, so that kind of sucks. But, let's go, let's go down here to the festival, should start once I uh, enter here. Oh, hey, cool! We've like jingle bells going. We've got the ice sculptures going on right here. We have a weird pair with sunglasses and a mouth. Ice sandcastle, ice mermaid right there. Hey, Leah, did you make that? Oh, ice. A beautiful material to sculpt in, but so impermanent. <laughs> Maybe if you live uh, anywhere that's below the South Pole, right? I'm entering the fishing, ice fishing competition today. Why not? You know what? That sounds fun. It's rare that Willie ever loses, though. <laughs> Maybe I can beat him, right? Anyways, uh, Robin, what do you have to say about this? I'm sorry, but carving ice para parapets? What? Ice parapets requires my undivided attention. That's a new word for me. <laughs> we have, like, igloos and stuff down here, too. Look at this. Jody, the forest looks beautiful in the winter, doesn't it? I agree. Absolutely agree. I said that on the first of winter. Absolutely beautiful the way that the world changes every season. You guys, it's crazy. How's winter coming along for you, Waffle? It's so-so. I know yesterday was, yesterday was your birthday. I forgot about it, but uh, hopefully you forgive me there, Caroline. And Shane over here with the shorts out in the middle of winter. <laughs> with snow and everything, too. If it was up to me, I'd probably have a pizza festival at the saloon instead. Oh, well, at least it's pizza and not uh, beer, right? Hmm. Wife dragged me out into the cold for this. <laughs> I'm like, you could have fun out in the cold, right, George? You've, you've, you've had, like, what, 80 winters in your life or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> Did I ever tell you how George and I first met? He actually pelted me with a snowball in this very festival. <laughs> That's so cute. He was a gentleman back then and came over to see if I was okay. Well, he seems a little bit more grumpy now. I don't know if he'd still do that today. <laughs> Check him on Mayor Lewis, though. Welcome to the Festival of Ice. Hey, look at that. That's the, uh, the, the pig. The pig with the weird hat. The highlight of today's festival is the ice fishing competition, which we set up in this frozen lake and stocked it full of fish. Just let me know when you're ready to compete. Okay, well, uh, see what Vincent's up to over here. You're looking down the little fishing holes. I saw a big fish down there. I bet you did, Vincent. It's going to be uh, it's going to be up here pretty soon because I'm going to fish it out of that hole. Sebastian, what do you have to say about this? Cold? Nah, I never get cold. At least you're not wearing shorts like Shane, right? <laughs> you're not going to be getting cold with long sleeve, uh, long, long, long pants, right? Sam, hey, Waffle, you going to enter the ice fishing competition? I am. Didn't Sebastian? Didn't someone say Sebastian's going to be doing that? Or wait, no, Elliot's going to be doing that. Yeah. Oh, not me. I don't know how to fish. Okay, well, uh, I could teach you. <laughs> it's not too hard. Let's see. Uh, oh, there's people over here. Uh, so where's that? I, don't know, I could probably talk to. Oh, there's a lot of people. Golly. So I, I don't want to miss. I don't want to forget about people and whatnot. Oh, yeah. This is that traveling salesperson again. Wow. Clicking on that pig makes some weird like snorting sounds. 
<laughs> Another one. Okay, I already have that rare krill. I'm not going to buy that, you guys. Tree of the Winter Star. <gasps> I could have a Christmas tree. Frozen dreams. It could be placed inside your house. Icy rug. I don't know if I want that. I don't want the melt inside of my house. <laughs> Winter dining table. That could be pretty good. We have like a square standard dining table right now. This is this would be pretty good. Icy banner. Wall sconce. Icy end. Okay. Uh, actually, that looks a little bit smaller than my regular square dining table, so... Yeah, it's going to be, and you want to put that next to the beds and whatnot, right? Cranberry sauce for 200? A festive tree. I might just buy that just because, and there's only one in stock. It gives you plus two mining as well. That might, that that's actually going to be really good for uh, cleaning out the quarry. So the quarry could be empty and then it like resets the next day, you guys said, right? So that'd be really good. You know what? I'm going to buy that. Boom. Stuffing. Oh, the smell of warm bread and sage. Plus two to fat. Hey, you know what? I'm like, these are relatively cheap. I'm like... Coming from this person that's actually decently cheap. 200, 250, etc. Pumpkin soup here. Uh, seasonal favorite. I've never had pumpkin soup. Although it does sound like it's going to be delicious, right? Uh, with all the pumpkin spice seasonings you're probably going to be putting inside that, right? Anyways, do I want to buy the tree of the winter star? It's just purely de decoration. I don't know. I kind of want to. It's winter in game. It's winter. Well, it's not winter. It's still fall right now in real life, at least for the northern hemisphere, right? But I kind of want to have something festive because it is Christmas time in real life. And it's 5,000. I could afford it. I have like, what, 16,000? Something 16,000. Mm, and, and we're going to be getting, we're getting like, what, another like 2,000 or something like that from all the, and then another 1,000 on top of that from all the pumpkin, uh, pickled pumpkins and then the mayonnaise. So we're going to be, we're going to be well over 10,000 again after today. You know, it's, it's a once a year thing. It's 5,000. Let's buy it. Let's buy it. I bought $5,000 rare crows in the past. Let's buy the tree of the winter star. Let's do it. Boom. I could buy multiple ones too. Cool. Don't want to get any decoration. Oh, well, these are multiple thousands. So, yeah, I'm not doing that. Walls. Hopefully I can craft those. Golly. Yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah. You had your money down in the bottom left. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> I was like, oh man, I probably have like something teen thousand, but it was literally right in front of me. Anyways, Marnie, what do you have to say about this? I feel bad for all the poor, cold animals out there. Well, hopefully we can wrangle them up and uh, put them in some nice warm barns and whatnot. I don't have one myself, but hey, maybe here in the future I'll have one, right? Anyways, Harvey, extreme temperatures can put your body under a lot of stress, so make sure to bundle up. Well, why don't you go tell that to Shane? He's over there wearing shorts in the middle of winter. Oh, and enjoy the festival. You too, Harvey. What about Marnie? I didn't click on her again. Okay. Yeah, you definitely want to click on people multiple times, see if they have, uh, you know, multiple conversations or multiple things to say, right? Sorry, there's no food. <laughs> Whoops. Just wait until the Feast of the Winter Star. You'll be stuffed for days. I'm like, I literally just bought some food from the, uh, the traveling salesperson over there, so I shouldn't be complaining, right? Anyways, Willie, Willie and Demetrius, what are you guys doing over here? Hey, Waffle, ready for some ice fishing? Yes, I'll do my best. Yes, and I'm going to beat you. <laughs> to be honest, I'm bad at fishing. You know what? Uh, how, how do I... Can I do this? Can I do this right here? I'm not ready just yet. I, I still want to talk to other people, so I'll just say this right here. Well, then, think of it as a good practice. Okay. Okay, okay, good. I was about to say, like, is that going to end the event right there? Okay, thankfully not. <laughs> we can come back to him later, I'm sure, right? Anyways, Demetrius, you know what? I probably should have worn a jacket. <laughs> yeah, he's wearing a short sleeve shirt over here, and then I can Shane over there with his shorts, or uh, his literal shorts. Is there anything over here, though? Oh, there's a, oh, uh, yeah, there's a box. I didn't see that, because there's, like, snow on top of the box right there. I was about to say, is there something over there, but no. Uh, oh, can you light, did I, is this a fire here? And Oh, I thought there was a fire in that campfire, and I, I, I kind of, like, clicked on it and made the fire go away, but no. Looks like you can't go inside the igloos here, though. Is there anything all the way over here, though? Is there, like, so, is there a wizard or something like that over here? He seems like he's always hidden. Oh, I hit, like, a rock or whatever right there. But it seems like the wizard's always hidden outside of the map, just outside of the... Oh, wait, no, it's Willy over here. Hey, what are you doing over here? Igloo buildings and art I picked up from the tundra dwellers who live beyond the frozen sea. Huh, interesting there. What else do you have to say, Linus? That was many years ago. At least you still know how to make an igloo, right, Linus? Your igloo looks really good. An igloo makes a nice home, but it's easier to just stay in my tent year-round. Yeah, you've, you've stayed in your tent, like, you haven't even moved or anything like that. I, I figured you'd... Oh, and yeah, he's of course he's blocking the wizard's tower over here. Yeah. Yep, right outside of you over there. So how do you actually talk to him? Because there's a conversation icon there? But there's no way to go away because Elias' igloo is blocking. 
he's just taunting me, being like, okay, you can't heckin' talk to me, hate it, and yeah, you can't go to the spooky woods over there, unfortunately, they blocked that off, so I can't say. But can I go fishing over here? Can I actually just- oh wait, yeah, you can't, because my hotbar is missing, unfortunately, so that sucks. Man! Alright, well, uh, let's go talk to the, like, five, six other people over on the other side of the- the festival of ice or whatever, uh, that we didn't talk to, and we'll see what they're talking about over here. Yeah, see, oh, you're all making a bunch of snowmen! Oh, that's so cute! Look at- <laughs> Look at Abigail's snowman right there compared to Mari's snowman over there. And then over here we have Emily and Clint's snowman. Oh! Did, did Emily and Clint, did they get some relationship points? Because I gave uh, Emily uh, an amethyst and said it was from Clint's. Ooh, I wonder what's going on between the two of them. Emily started helping me without any provocation. Does that mean something? And look at his eyes! Look at his eyes! He's so nervous right now. <laughs> Emily, what do you have to say? Wow, this snowman needs a makeover. Who made this? <laughs> She's over here because the second snowman looks like trash. And Clint's over here like, oh man, maybe she likes me. <laughs> Anyways, what about Pam? What do you have to- Oh, I can't give her her, uh, her her thing right now, unfortunately. Man, need to remember that next episode, though. I don't know if we'll have enough time this episode to, to do another in-game day. But either way, I plan on winning the ice fishing competition. I doubt that. I doubt you're going to win. <laughs> I'm gonna win. Will is gonna be pretty hard to beat, though. He does this kind of stuff day and night. Yeah, you're right. But, uh, I'm like, you could say the same thing about me during the heckin', uh, what was it, like the Harvest Festival or whatever it was. I do farming day and night, and yet I lost. I got second place. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe Linus can get second place now, right? <laughs> Anyways, uh, who else is over here? Uh, Alex, I think, right? Snowmen are okay, I guess, but mostly I'm looking forward to the spring. Eh. I could see that. I'm like, I could see why some people might not like the winter time. It kind of gets kind of hesitating with all the snow all over the place and the bad driving and all that kind of stuff, right? But at the same time, you've got to admit, it's so beautiful, it's so peaceful, it's so quiet, it's so nice. I like winter time myself. But either way, Haley over here. Blah, I guess winter isn't all that bad. Playing in the snow can be fun. Blah. I don't know why I'm <laughs> still messing around with her voice and stuff like that, golly. Uh, the snow is so cold. I can't feel my fingers anymore. Oh, you gotta go talk to Harvey. You must—you should have worn gloves. Abigail, what do you think of my snow goon? <laughs> I'm like, he looks, he looks uh, unique. He looks kind of unique there. I'll tell you that. <laughs> and then we have Penny over here with a half-built snow. What happened? Did like the top half of it fall off, or what happened? I don't know. Oh, they're still building it. That's what I was about to say. Like, did the top half fall off or something like that? Because that's happened to me before. Where you built a snowman, and I guess you put too big of a, a big snow boulder on the second layer there, and it just falls off. That's happened to me before. <laughs> Anyways, hmm, what kind of snowman should we make? A classic one with a carrot nose, a top hat, and a scarf. I'm like, over here we've got a scarf, so over there's got a regular hat, though. Something funky. Icicle antennas, pine cone eyes. Snowmen are boring. Think outside the box. Should I do that? I don't know. Maybe. And I wonder if this is because Penny's at the top of our list, so I wonder if Abigail was at the top of my list, my friendship list, if hers would be half-built and she'd be asking me how to, uh, what, what she should do. I wonder if that's how it works, or if Penny's always the one asking you how to make the, 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 the finish the snowman. Hmm. You know, I love the classic frosty look with the carrot nose, the top hat and scarf, and like the coal eyes. I know it might be boring, it might be kind of like, 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 like stereotypical snowman, but... I like it. it. It's so seasonal. It's so iconic, so recognizable. Let's do it. Let's do the classic snowman. I guess maybe it's the best to stick with the classics, huh? You're right, Penny. Hopefully we can come back here a little bit later and we can see that finished snowman with a carrot nose. And it was Jazz. What do you say about this? I want to give him a carrot. Hey, we're going to be giving him a carrot nose, Jazz. You're going to like that. I guess you can't see what that looks like later. I think Mar is the last person we haven't talked to, right? I'm not very creative when it comes to snowmen. Well, your snowman looks pretty good. He doesn't have a hat, though, but he looks pretty good. With his, his he has a carrot nose as well. Coal eyes, coal mouth, and whatnot. At least he's not doing this weird, like, whatever that's <laughs> Abigail's snowman is doing. <laughs> but I think we talked to everyone, right? So we can go down here, Willie, and, and, and talk to him and start the festival, I think. Or Mayor Lewis, right? Are you ready to participate in the ice fishing competition? Yes, not yet. Uh oh, hold on. I wonder if I could have said, yeah, I thought, I thought talking to Willie was going to start, oh man, I can't, oh man, I don't know, maybe, maybe I told him, oh man, I'm not, I'm not very good at fishing, maybe I can get inside of his head as a psychological sort of thing, and maybe he's going to let his guard down, he's, he's going to lose, hopefully, right, maybe that's going to help us out, right, but let's participate in this ice fishing competition, let's go, let's beat, uh, Elliot and whoever else is going to participate, obviously not, uh, Sam, because he said he doesn't know how to fish, <laughs> oh yeah, Pam, that was another person there too, 
All right, everyone, let's begin this year's ice fishing competition. Looks like it's, yep, me, Willie, Elliot, and Pam. And maybe Lewis, Mayor Lewis? Is there four, or I, yeah, I think there's just four fishing holes, so I don't think he's going to be participating. Anyways, contestants, your goal is to catch as many fish as you possibly can in two minutes using the provided fishing rod. Hopefully it's a good one. You must catch your fish here from those holes in the ice. Or these holes in the ice. Oh wait, there is, uh, there are five uh, fishing holes. Well, is everyone ready? Begin! All right, which one am I going to use? This one? I guess so. Yep. Overfished it right there, whoops. Hopefully we, oh, there you go. Oh, we got some heckin' algae or whatever right there, green algae. Hopefully I'm gonna catch something here, nothing. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? Let's get some distance, and then maybe we'll, oh man. There we go, there we go, okay. I don't know if this makes any difference here, but uh, <laughs> it's probably pointless that I'm doing this here. Come on! I only caught one, th I haven't caught any, f oh, here we go, here we go, we got our first fish. Okay, cool. Keep this here, I don't know if, oh man, Willie just got a fish, I just saw that. And boom, we got a perfect, I don't know if that helps out with anything, but boom. We just got ourselves like a chum or whatever that, I don't know what that actually was. Uh, but let's keep on catching some fish, let's be like right next to it, I don't, I don't think, oh, here we go, here we go, second fish. I don't think, uh, doing like maximum casting or whatever really makes a difference here. If anything, it might make it a little bit harder. <laughs> there you go. Missed out on getting a perfect, but whatever. Yep, there you go. Yeah, see, doing it with basically no power goes to the edge right there, so glad that I'm not, uh, oh, am I going to reset this? Oh, they just caught some more fish. Ellie just caught another fish. Will just caught another fish. Oh, whoops, whoops. Oh, oh, it's, oh man, I thought that was going to go outside of bounds, but no. Come on. Oh, here we go, here we go. I kind of have the advantage of going between these two ice and holes right here, or ice holes right here. So, uh, oh man, Pam just caught a fish. Perfect, awesome, okay, cool. So there we go, another fish right there, 40 seconds. I believe that the countdown timer still goes even while we're doing the mini game, which kind of sucks. Come on, come on, okay, another, oh, a twig, a drip, oh, whoops, 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 whoops. Come on, go to this, this, this ice hole right here, come on. 20, 27 seconds left, I got three fish. I don't know how many fish Willie got, but uh, probably like five or something like that by now, <laughs> to be honest. 20 seconds left, come on! Aw, oh, man. Uh, hopefully it's not like that thing where you like, you, you see a line at the grocery store and you go to the line that looks shorter, but you keep jumping back and forth between the two lines and, ah, uh, this might be it right here. You got, oh man, six seconds left. No, we're just going to be second three fish. No, I should have gone to someone. I'm going, to, I'm going over there. I'm going to steal. Ah! Oh man, I was going to go over to Willie's and steal his fish. <laughs> what if you could have actually done that? But it looked like I was able to talk to him right there. Let's see. How many fish did everyone catch? Hopefully I at least didn't get last place. Wow, that's a lot of fish. I got three. G bleh, the smell. Bleh. <laughs> I don't blame you, Mayor Lewis. <laughs> now for the winner of this year's ice fishing competition. Oh man, who's it gonna be? It's gonna be Willie, isn't it? Well, I knew it, I knew it. Willie with five big fresh fish. I knew it. I knew he caught five of them. It probably limited me to only three of them. That's probably why we caught literally zero fish for the final minute. For like literally the half, half of the heckin' competition. We caught all three of them at the first minute. And then after that, nothing. Man. Did I at least get second place? Does he even announce second place? Here's your prize, Willie. Enjoy. Probably like a million dollars or something like that. Golly. Oh, he gave him something. What was that? Well, that's it for this year's Festival of Ice. Thanks for coming, everyone. He doesn't even acknowledge second place or third place. <sighs> now, let's release these poor fish. All right, I'm like, you put them here in the first place. Might as well put them back. And I see, oh, the, we didn't see the finished snowman, man. Oh, wait, there was someone with the snowman down there, though. Someone with, like, a, I didn't get a good look at it. Maybe I'll take a screenshot of it and we can look at it here in just a second, but I had a hat. I didn't win the competition, but it was still fun. Time to head home. Now, what time is it? Is it 10? Yeah, it's 10 p.m. right now. Okay, that sucks, but we do have a little bit of time. I guess we can go over here. Pam is probably in the saloon. It's, it's Monday, but then again, Pam is probably still in the saloon, right? <laughs> we can give her a craft beer. We can go do the other stuff. Uh, I don't know if we have enough time to do, the, to do that one house, to do that one house thing where we go up, down, left, right, all that kind of stuff, but I guess we can go over here to the saloon, go see what's going on over here. Uh, oh, I wonder if the Christmas tree that we bought is as big as that one. Oh, I bet because it's a heckin' special event or whatever, all the shops are closed, even even if they'd be open at this time, right? So that's probably what that is, right? So either way, uh, let, me, let me pull up that screenshot I took last episode, 
And uh, I don't know if we'll have enough time to actually do this, but I'll try. Let me see. So let's pull this up. So we need to go left, up, right, up. Okay, let's do this. Go left all the way, up all the way, right all the way, and then up all the way, and then right all the way, and then down all the way. Oh, wow, we're going really far. Oh, we hit like the bushes right there, but no. Right all the way, down all the way, left all the way, down, left, and then down. What is this? Hold on, I hit the ground. Is there something here? Something here? Did I do this wrong? Or does this event not work? Hold on. Does this not work whenever you're, uh... What is this? There's something here? Ah, uh, I must have done that wrong. Okay, well, it's it's, it's almost midnight right now. It, 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 thankfully, we're all the way over here. We can get another uh, special request or whatever. So let's, let's see what's over here. Aquatic overpopulation and Robin's project. Ooh, 80 hardwood. Ooh, man. That's probably the most doable one. We're at 40 something right now, but I assume. But I'll need, I, I don't know. It sounds like you just use the wood you already have. I was about to say, like, I assume you have to start from zero or like the other ones, but no, I... I I guess it's fine with the 40-something we already have. And then uh, I, I might as well read these out loud because I'm just skipping over them. <laughs> just, just, just glossing over them real quick. Just skimming over them. So anyways, Robin's Project. Hey, I have an idea for a new style of bed, but I'll need 80 hardwood to make it happen. Can anyone help? Robin. And then Aquatic Over... Oh, yeah, we already did this, didn't we? Yeah, we already did that for Demetrius. Aquatic Overpopulation. For unknown reasons, the local population of Perch has grown to an unsustainable level. I need a local angler to help reduce their numbers. You know what? Because we already did that. I think we're going to do Robin's project. It seems doable, and we are we didn't do it yet. Unlike Demetrius is over there, we already did that with like what was it, the Midnight Carp or whatever. But I'm like, we failed that, so we could have a a redemption of that mission. Hmm. I think I'm going to do Robin's because at least I'm like we already. Did a lot of fishing with that one in the past. At least it's going to be something a little bit different, you know, cutting down those spooky forest trees and whatnot to try and get two hardwood from each one, or uh, those stumps at least. Uh, and I assume the 80 pieces of hardwood. So I, I don't know. I, I'm going to go home real quick. Uh, good humor today. So, oh, wow, a red snapper just in his trash right there. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, man. F wow. Hold on. Oh, large mouth bat. Large mouth abass. And we got a winter root right there. I was about to say, like, because of the winter fishing event, do we have, like, more likelihood of finding fish in people's heckin' trash cans or whatever? But no, we didn't find anything right there. <laughs> so that kind of sucks. But let's go home real quick. Oh, worms right there. I almost didn't see that. I'm probably getting comments. Mixed seeds. Nice. Uh, what was I saying just a second ago? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Well, let's go home. We do have enough time to check up on the hardwood we have in storage. Let's see if that number actually changes. What if we put those hardwood in our inventory? So here we go. And it's 1 a.m. right now. Okay. So we have like 40 something right now. Yeah, we have uh, 42 right there. So there you go. Boom. And then, yeah, we have this uh, tree. You know what? Let's put it in the middle of our. Uh... Wow, that is a huge tree. Put it right there. Right on top of the rug. Amazing. That looks so good. I love that. So let, let's check on the uh, the thing. Oh, you do. Oh, it doesn't count those. Ooh. Oh, well, I guess it would for this. Add the hardwood to the sod pile in Robin's house. It would, it would count for that, but I still need to gather 80 pieces of hardwood starting right now. Man, and how much hardwood can you even get from the spooky forest? From Because you can only get like two from each stump, right? I don't know how many stumps are actually over there. So if you have seven days to do it, well, we can't do it. Monday's already over with, unfortunately, so that sucks. Six days to get 80 hardwood? So you need to get like, what, 12, 13? 13 or 14 or so uh, hardwood each day. So hopefully there's at least seven stumps over there in the in the spooky forest, hopefully like seven, eight stumps. And then we'd have to cut down each and every one of them every single day. Unfortunately, if I did, if I got that mission earlier in the day, I'm like, yeah, I wouldn't have been able to do it anyways earlier in the day. Because if I went over there, uh, it, it would have been like, oh, the this area is under construction for the Festival of Ice or whatever. So I wouldn't have been able to do it earlier in the day anyway. So that kind of sucks. But yeah. Man, that's going to be that's going to be tough. That's going to be like right at the very end. We're going to be like, oh, man, I'm at 78 hardwood uh, where else am i going to get I, I guess yeah we can get hardwood from our base too there's stumps in our base on our farm too yeah we can do that too okay that sounds like it's, it's going to be a little bit more easy a little bit more doable now than i think about that all right so that's good anyways we're getting three thousand dollars overnight from all the pickled pumpkins and the mayonnaise and all that kind of stuff nice so uh you know starting to make up for that five thousand i spent on that giant christmas tree <laughs> anyways day nine of winter year one 
any uh, special events happening right now, or nope, didn't level up on anything right there, so that kind of sucks, but uh, I guess for right now, I'm going to have to end this episode off right here, wow, look at that crystal, it is so beautiful, and we've got the peaceful music playing right now, and look at the farm, look at that, it's fully automated right now, this is amazing, I can, I can almost make another one and place it down right there, holy heck, you guys, this is so cool, still making wine over there, we still have these other, like, food things. I'm going to have to put those up in the, uh, in, in the food chest. Uh, just, just so I know where they're at and stuff like that, right? Wait, didn't I put the... Or did I put them up over here in the fridge? Oh, yeah, I did, yeah. So I can put them up over there. I'll have to do this again at the beginning of the next episode, but there you go. And then, yeah, we still need to do the pale ale. Still need to give that to, uh... Oh, yeah, what are the effects of that? Plus 50 energy, plus 22 health. Eh! I don't know if I want to make a bunch of pale ale just to give us, like, energy and whatnot, but, like, 50? That's decent. I don't know how, how efficient that'd be. I'm like, it's, it's one hops or whatever. I don't know how much hops I have left over and whatnot, but uh, yeah, next episode, we have a few things I want to do. I'm like, this episode was kind of thrown thrown for a loop because we had the whole winter festival event and, you know, trying to get the ectoplasm at the very last minute and all that kind of stuff. So next episode, still need to sell the glow ring to the Adventures Guild, go to the museum for the ancient sword and the rusty spoon. And we have some geos to open up with a blacksmith too. And uh, I don't know if there's anything on the calendar, uh, for tomorrow or for next episode's events and stuff like that. Okay, Sebastian. Okay, frozen tears for uh, Sebastian's birthday. We should do that, right? We should be able to do that, right? Where is that? Yeah, we have plenty of those frozen tears right there. Okay, good. So uh, other than that, we don't have any other birthdays, so that's good. Uh, I guess we'll just start looking forward to next episode, and I can end this episode off right here. So thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Stardew Valley comes out so you don't miss it. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Stardew Valley. Oh, bye there.